Okay, hi. I'm Anushka Agarwal from India, INU1 contestant, and I'm 15 years old. So this was a second EGMO, and last year I had bronze. And this year, when I got to know that it's being can it can be cancelled because of the Corona crisis, I was really sad. Like. I so wanted to meet my friends and give the contest. I had worked so hard for it throughout the year. And when I got to know that it would be conducted online, I was so relieved. I had felt so happy that finally I can take the contest and meet, uh, meet my friends even virtually only and meet new people. Really great. I'm very happy to hear that, that you were... Uh are enjoying uh, the online ECMO. Um, so I know that you have written the first exam already. Yeah. Um, so I'm curious uh, to know, how did you prepare for the exam, both mentally, how did you come into the mindset uh, and how did you prepare the space in your house for the exam? So for uh, mentally, I took a deep breath and thought that this is just an exam. It is really important to me because I'm writing for my country, but it is not the end of the world. For this, and I need to, uh, the, uh, the main thing should be that I enjoy the problems when I'm doing it and enjoy the contest as a whole and egg more. Like it's, it is a such important part of my life. And I should not take a pressure that what if I'm not able to do the problems or something like that. It should be really chill. Mm -hmm. Very and good. For uh, environment, I had one separate room of those four and a half hours. And then nobody was allowed to come. Only my mother, who was my supervisor, came and gave me the question paper and took it after four and a half hours. Even our um, uh, national... Uh, people who organization had an insulation for us uh, conducted so that way it was like actual exam only not much difference for me okay very good yeah um so this is how you prepared and now that you've done it um so remember no comments about the exam but yeah. how did it feel knowing that you're doing an uh, an official exam, but you're sitting in your house, right? It was, uh, I thought it would feel weird and different. Like I won't be able to become that serious as I'm in, a, in an examination hall. But when I sat down and got the paper, it was, I was like almost, if not more than as serious as the, when I'm in an examination hall outside my house, because um, it doesn't matter where I'm sitting. The thing that matters is that I'm writing an exam for my country and, it, and it's an egg bowl. So it should be serious. Very good. I'm I'm happy to hear that you were able to concentrate and understand the responsibility of, okay, now let's do this, right? <laughs> um, so now first exam is done. What do you plan to do for the rest of the day? I think I would do some nail art fun. And after that, I can try Q, I will try Q Mozart and maybe then I'll practice some more. <laughs> Very good. Like revise stuff and try the problems I had today even more. <clears throat> Very good. A little challenge. Yeah. Um, well, then, thank you so much for your time. Uh, before we finish, uh, is there something that you would like to say to the rest of the contestants? All those who did not, who haven't appeared for the exam, uh, yet, best of luck and everybody best of luck for the day too. Awesome. Thank you so much. Enjoy the rest of the day and good luck for you for uh, the second exam tomorrow. Thank you. Bye-bye. Have, Have a nice day. Have a nice day too.